Uh, this particular piece of software was developed about five years ago in an earlier generation of managed code uh, called Microsoft Foundation Classes. Um, this particular game was developed in C++. Um, it is a single client game. Uh, it is not a game that could be played over a, a network or a World Wide Web. Uh, in the five years since this was done, of course, we've asked our students now to do much more demanding uh, pieces of software development. Uh, just on the basis of our own experience, not because the students were uh, less capable at that time. Uh, but this was done by four students. Uh, it's an excellent piece of software. Took about 10,000 lines of code. Um, back in those days, uh, even working with Microsoft Foundation classes, uh, was an extraordinary uh, complex accomplishment. Um, the game was uh, developed with a complete set of professional documentation um, that went along with the development of the game. Uh, in particular, it started with a requirements document and was followed up by architecture and design documents, uh, along with project plans um, and other documents such as user manuals that are a normal part of a professional development cycle. Um, I'll give you a, a quick demo of the game. Uh, it's beautifully done. Uh, it's a two-player game. I've already launched the game, of course, uh, in that default mode. So um, I have a button that uh, we can click, and it will roll the dice. You'll notice that um, he's moved over to the, um, uh, the Just Visiting Jail um, automatically, uh, moving that image, the uh, hat in this case. Uh, you'll notice it also popped up over here in the right-hand corner, uh, the Just Visiting um, a sort of a player card that also accompanies um, a typical Monopoly game. So we're done. Nothing has really happened to this uh, particular player. And now player two um, pops up. You'll notice over here he has the uh, image there of an iron. He has his $1,500. And so we'll roll him and see if he does something a little bit more interesting. He does um, pop up on a, uh, a piece of property and two things have happened. You'll notice that over in the right hand corner again uh, the Oriental um, Avenue property card pops up but also a secondary um, pop-up window comes. Um, a nice little custom implementation here where uh, the players now get to either buy the uh, property or they can actually auction it. So I'm going to click the auction button so you can see another nice uh, feature that the students have uh, developed associated with uh, their customization of the game. Um, they have a pop-up window called an auction window. Uh, move that here in view for us, uh, which allows the players to bid um, on Oriental Avenue, uh, which is identified up here. Uh, we'll have player one bids a dollar for it, uh, player five, two a five, player one then says he'll take it for ten, and player two uh, wants to leave the bidding. And then uh, the first player, of course, leaves the bidding. And we have another pop-up window uh, saying that player one has won the uh, property uh, for $16. And we'll see that reflected the next time he plays in terms of the amount of money that he has. So um, it's a very nice game. Uh, the the uh, chance uh, cards pop up whenever you come on chance. Uh, the community chest cards pop up whenever you land on community chests, etc. Um, a very nice and very artistically attractive game. Uh, this Monopoly game would be very suitable for a professor who is just interested in adopting the gaming motif, a message method of uh, software engineering for freshmen, or what we call the G method. Um, as you know from my other tapes, the method requires a great deal of independent study. We um, don't actually lecture technically on any of the details associated with accomplishing this piece of software. We're not revealed in class by the professor. This was done entirely using small teams of students doing peer-to-peer -peer sharing of their own uh, research, their own study, and their own investigation. Uh, we find that massive knowledge assimilation um, is only able to be accomplished uh, in an independent study environment. Now that doesn't mean that we don't give the students some real guidance as to what they ought to be doing, and those are what we call uh, tech demonstrations, um, of which uh, I will be sharing uh, throughout these videotapes. But I did want to give you an example of what I would consider uh, a very nice beginning point with the Gini method, doing a single client um, gaming system, uh, two-dimensional, uh, that does not uh, necessarily have any networking associated with it, the kinds of things that we now ask them to do. Um, but it, it, it's a reasonably low risk uh, introduction, uh, introduction into uh, a gaming motif uh, for college freshmen or um, I believe even could be adapted uh, for high school students with a little bit less emphasis on the independent study component um, of the method. Uh, thank you for joining me um, today.